fucking summer, man. What you got? Hey, oh, Australia. That thing good? Hey, go ahead. We good. Brother, be uh, fucking bitches together and shit. You know, just like the people in the store, they share with us. Oh, we start back to yeah, what you got? Uh, that's second, uh, first oh, yeah, right there. Yeah. Let no man go be young and defraud his brother in any manner, because if the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also have known you and testified. For the Most High have not called us unto the pleading, but unto only. He therefore that despises, despises not man, but the Most High, who have also given us. His Holy Spirit. He said he gave us the Holy Spirit. Okay. And, and right before he said that, he said that uh, the Gentiles were unclean. In the very same scripture, where he said the Gentiles were unclean, he said he gave us the Holy Spirit. Gave who the Holy Spirit? Gave Israel the Holy Spirit. That's clear to say. Don't get no clearer than that. Because people, they're like, what about Cornelius? And he got the Holy Spirit from here. Cornelius was an Israelite. That would have proof right there. Right. And motherfucking Israel had a problem with the whole morning community. Yep. They had a problem with that. Yeah, they had a problem with Paul going and teaching the Greeks. Yep. They had something, you know what I mean? Yeah, they had a problem with that. Yeah, they had a problem with Yeah, the Lord, the Greeks were the ones who really made the, spread the scriptures around a lot. You see, the whole New Testament is written in Greek. Uh, this is First Corinthians two and six. How did we speak wisdom among them that are perfect? Yeah. Yet so, not. Oh yeah, he's so perfect. That's why my Israel. You know? Yet not the wisdom of this world. Yeah, Lord. the Lord said. Supposed to hate this world, you know? That's right. Nor are the princes of this world that come to know. But we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery. In a mystery. So it, is, it says a mystery. So what we're talking about is a mystery. That's why most people can't get it. Okay? That's why people get all confused and dumbfounded over Cornelius and, the, you know, the, they, they, you know they, they, get, they get all messed up. But that, that's why uh, Isaiah 66 and what 15 it said when the Lord comes back with his chariots he said the slain of the Lord shall be many so the Lord is gonna be the Lord's gonna be killing a lot of y'all man a lot, a lot of you people out here teaching the Bible y'all ain't right you know what I'm saying you got all kind of people out you see on YouTube Thinking they teaching the Bible, they don't know shit. But we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom, which the Most High ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew. Yes, and all. all. What's that scripture said? Israel only I have I known. This one is that? Oh, I'll give you that Exodus. Is that Exodus four and twelve? Oh. Or Exodus four and twenty-four or something like that. Yeah, Exodus four and twenty-four. That's a bad scripture. Think about that one out in a minute too. That's a bad scripture. I'll keep going with that. Uh, that's alone. Why he did that? Um, oh yeah, my fault. Yeah. Which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the Most High have prepared for him that love him and love him. But the Most High has revealed them unto us by his Spirit. This is the apostle. That's why we out here uh, pushing this truth. Yes, yeah, so and the Lord revealed it. He revealed everything through the Spirit. That's right. He didn't reveal it through the flesh. All right. So if you, only thing you look after is the flesh and what you see. You know what I'm saying? Just what your eyes can see. Yeah, you gonna be confused. 
never gonna get it. We're spiritual people. Everything we do is in the spirit. This body right here is gonna die anyway, so how great is that? Right here, it's We're gonna turn right up. Um, but the Most High had revealed them unto us by His Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things. The Spirit searches all things. That's how when people come up here, we, we can we can sense Spirit. Right, we can tell someone's a demon right away, just by the, the energy that the spirits emit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Everybody gives off a certain vibration. A certain everybody got their own spiritual vibration it could be a wicked vibration it could be a heathen vibration because when a heathen come up well, our spirits don't mesh they don't click you know what i'm saying we don't we don't mix well we don't have good conversations with there's nothing to talk about it's a heathen but you know when you're around israelites you can tell through the spirit yay the deep things of the most high i'll say so the deep things of the yeah because a lot of times, you things get revealed to you while you're meditating. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, yeah, not, yeah. that's not something you get out of a book. That's true. You know what I mean? You're sitting there meditating, and then you have an epiphany, then you just realize something just from meditating, from praying to the Lord. So that's part of the spirit. You constantly meditate in anyway. Yeah, uh, also yeah, the spirit. Yeah, what's that song? I meditate, meditate upon that precept? That's right. That's why I be out of work. Meditate, yeah, because the Lord, He can reveal something crazy to you in a dream. And he'll reveal something so crazy to you, you can't even explain it. Right, 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 right. You guys don't even talk to you what you're talking about. I'll be trying to explain some stuff, man, but you just can't <laughs> do this sometimes. Yeah, something. Yeah, look at this guy. You know, so here, let me read this real quick. Ecclesiastes 39, I'm going to start with the top. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof. Yeah, so meditating in the law. That means you got to be reading the law, okay? You got to meditate on it. That's right. Will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied all the ancient, in so, prophecy. So if you a person, you, dis you, you disregard the, 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 the words of the ancients, man. So when you say you have a problem with the Bible, that means you have a problem with yourself, man. Because you, because you come from your forefathers. And the funny thing is, this is a this is a fascinating book, man. It How is. can you not constantly meditate in it? This is our book. This is our history, man. You know, we you can read this book and find out how mighty we used to be. You should be stuck with that alone. The knowledge in the Bible is endless. You, you know, it's endless, man. It's a like I said, it's a fascinating book, man. It got all yeah. kinds. It's got all kind of history in it. It's got genealogies. Ooh, yeah. It got genealogies from 3,000 years ago. Mm. You know what I mean? Just straight genealogies. It's got just records. It's, a, it's just endless, man. Let's go back to the beginning of the time. Like here. It's a book. Yeah, it goes back. It does. Mainstream mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, man. It's a book of all books. Oh, I got a scripture for that. The Bible really covers past, future, and present. And then it gives you spiritual guidance. When you read the Proverbs, the Proverbs is for your instruction, you know what I mean? All kind of wise things. You'd be a fool to not, you know, not heed to those wise things. Man. That's why you be a fool. A fool. You can't stress that yeah, enough. Like it is not worse than a person that doesn't like instruction too. Man. No, even, even, yeah, I mean, I used to be uh, like an electrician. And they used to tell me like, uh, if you don't listen, when someone's teaching, you're not gonna learn, man. You're you gonna try to install a light, you're gonna tie a panel in, you're gonna catch the house on fire. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, shit down. That's why I don't fuck with it. I mean, that's it with anything. If you don't follow the instructions, you're going to get, you're going to fuck some shit up, man. You can cause some, some death. Oh, yeah, if you're in the military, if you don't follow instructions, you get your whole squad killed. You get your whole platoon blown to pieces. You know what I'm saying? You got to be disciplined. And with, from the scriptures, the scriptures teach about discipline. All right? Patience. Yeah, you got to be disciplined in knowledge, man. Yeah, patience, discipline. Uh, 
Uh, what's it? I got a script. Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. So it says, what? We just only supposed to read out the Bible. You ain't supposed to read out the Quran, okay, or the Constitution. You ain't supposed to be quoting the Declaration of Independence. Yeah, the book of the dead. Fucking, uh, what's the rat juice read? Uh, uh, yeah. We ain't, we, ain't, uh, we ain't on none of that, that shit. shit it's the book right here. Read that shit alone. Isaiah 34 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. <laughs> no one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. That means you can't couple the Bible with anything. You can't be mixing it with them Hindu. What's the Hindu shit? The, uh, what's the Hindu? They got the Mahabharata, whatever that bullshit is, that Shiva shit. You, you, got, you got people, they try to mix Hinduism and Buddhism in with the scripture. They're like, Jesus was a Buddha. That's crazy. They ain't nowhere in the Bible. And they okay. even got pictures of you. Mm -hmm. like, people are crazy. Mm -hmm. You ain't like Farrakhan clown, clown, wicked ass trying to mix this book with the Quran. Yeah, they try to, yeah. Well, why the fuck his old ass up with his booty cancer, right? You know? And then they try to say Jesus was Egyptian. Well, if he was Egyptian, how come he ain't never mentioned Horus or uh, Isis? He ain't say to wrap yourself up like a mummy and write in hieroglyphs. That's what I'm, uh, the, these motherfuckers, dumbass niggas that think they fucking African, the Wubians. Yeah, if the Lord, the, yeah, if the Lord of the African, how come the Bible say he spoke Hebrew? That doesn't make no sense, man. That doesn't make no damn sense. Lord was no spear chucking on the fuck. I don't, I don't want to see where he gets that from. They say he went there to lay low. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> His descriptions is clearly say the Egyptians are evil and treated us. But let me read the scripture again. Isaiah 34 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. For my, for my mouth hath commanded, and his spirit hath gathered them. <laughs> what does that mean, gather who? <laughs> He gathered the Israelites. That go back to their revelation and that great multitude that the Lord gathered. Oh, you know what? Get uh, second Ezra, the second chapter. That's that spirit gathering. That's gonna go back to that great multitude of Israel. Chapter uh, Second Ezra, the second chapter. Uh, Second Ezra 2 and 42. I Ezra saw upon the Mount, saw upon the Mount Sion a great people um, whom I could not number. And that says the same thing as Revelation. That's almost exactly the same word for word. Alright. Oh, he got a Jesus guy. He was bumping some of that fake uh, kind of shit. You know Fear never told him. I don't think so. See, every time he got here, he probably probably away. He probably thinks he's down with him. Right. Um, let's see what he's... I hope maybe he ain't gonna come back. Uh, keep going. Read that again. Second Ezra 2 and 42. I, Ezra, saw about upon the Mount Sion a great people whom I could not number. Uh, he's talking about the nation of Israel. That's who the Lord's dealing with. Keep going. And they all praised the Lord with song. And yep. in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature. A young man of high stature. It's just saying the same thing as Revelation. Uh, keep going. It goes, the book of 2nd Ezra go hand in hand with Revelation. And it goes hand in hand with Daniel. Keep going. And we're reading the rest of the scripture. They all go together. <laughs> keep going. But I'm talking about, you know, it's all prophetic. It's talking talk about the kingdom, what's going to happen in the future. Keep going. In the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns. He's on. Israel's called, uh, remember, 
Israel, when you break Israel down in Hebrew, it means Prince of God. You going? It was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing. Hmm. Have put off the mortal clothing. I mean, we don't follow after the flesh. We follow after the spirit, okay? Like, like second, uh, First John 2 and 15 said, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And it says the lust of the world, or the pride of life, and the, the lust of the eyes, and the lust of the flesh. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, there's the idol worship even. Idol worship comes from the word I. That's all people do, they follow after the flesh. And they don't follow after spiritual things. That's why a lot of people, they can't understand these mysteries. You know what I'm so I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and about. put on the mortal and have confessed the name of God. It's the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is uh, Yahweh Shah. That's the ancient Hebrew name. That's because the name says. Yeah, that's the one they call Jesus, Yahweh Shah. Keep going. They have confessed the name of God, now are they crowned and received palms. Yep, that's talking about Israel receiving palms. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowns them? So, keep going. That's what that young man said was taller than everybody else. What religion? No religion, it's all truth of the Bible. Religion is a, that's a Latin word for religion. Yeah. Reliquio, which means the whole pack, restraint. And basically you're saying restraint yourself from knowing the truth. That's right. the, these devils came up with religion. Right. Wicked niggas come up with religion. Right. You know? That's just that hustle. Yeah. See, that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? When he went to the holy city of Mecca while they get to line. And he's seen all them different brothers over there. Yep. Right. All right. different right. nationalities. Yep. 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 That's why I like Then they killed him for that. Like Muhammad had yeah. Yeah, so. real time, real time. yeah, but a real time. Yeah. He said, I know. Yeah, yeah. So he was listening to this. He must have been listening to it. Oh, you hear what he said? Oh, he said, well, Malcolm X, you know, they're in Mexico. He said he's seen all different people in all different colors. And it just messed his brain up. Yeah. Like, it made him change the way he looked on there. Okay. Cause he was hanging that's out. That's true. When he came back, that's when all hell was. Cause he was hanging out with. Cause he seen. Cause he seen how cool all these other people were. Right. 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 Even though you got Muslims, cause Muslim Islam is not the truth. But you got Israelites who calling themselves Muslims, and they some cool people. Well, some of them are. A lot of them are demons. But you know, you know, cause you can kick it with them. You know what I mean? Cause you know, like I said earlier, you know, an Israelite when you're around, them, you can feel the spirit. Okay. The spirit messes with it. Uh, read that last one. Second Ezra 2 and 46. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of God who they have confessed in the world. Son of God is Yahweh Shad. That's, that's what we confessing in the world right here. Why do we wait till they leave, man? And we curse him out before. Oh, uh, then we, yeah, we curse him out a couple times. I didn't hear what he said either. I didn't hear what he said either. I just recognize That's what you call drive-by scoffing. Right. <laughs> so go ahead with this. No, he ain't confessing the name of the Lord. This said right here, the people is confessing the name of the Lord. Israel. And it, the Lord only gave his name to Israel. He didn't give that name to the heathens. You ain't gonna hear no heathens going around exalting the name of the Lord. No Gentiles. That. And you have to confess the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shah. You can't, you can't, you can't be telling everybody Jesus' his real name is Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just Jesus. Or you can call him Yeshua. Whatever you feel comfortable with. That's no, you can't do that. The only what thank you. Look, the Lord's name is Yahweh Shai. That's it. Okay, there ain't no other name. That's what that scripture's talking about. We're the ones confessing that name. 
churches don't know the name of the Lord. They don't know shit. These people in them churches are dumb as hell. They have no knowledge. Yeah, like a, like a lot of clubs, you know, the kids, you gotta have a secret code to come through the door. Oh, yeah. The they have that club. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> they got the password. You gotta have two boiled eggs to get in. Yeah. You gotta have a password to get on the computer. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You right. ass out. That's right. You get delivered, you gotta know that password. I mean, the Lord said He's gonna give His servants His name. I mean, He reveals His secrets unto His servants, the prophets. Correct. That's the elect. That's how. That's what it means to be sealed. If you don't know the name of the Lord, your ass ain't sealed. You ain't part of the elect, man. You definitely is not part of the elect. What they come up there? They all kind of names, man. Yeah, cause right, cause Jesus. In Hebrew, the Lord's name is Yahweh Shai, and they call him the Mashiach, which is the, the Messiah. But, but how do you say Mashiach in uh, Greek? How do you say Messiah in Greek? It don't even start with an M, it's pronounced Christ or Christos. You know what I mean? So the, the name Jesus is not pronounced the same in Greek as Hebrew either. It's totally different, just like Christ is different. That's what people don't understand, okay? But it can't get. With, plus, there's no J's in Hebrew. Yeah. Go ahead. Then began I greatly to command them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. To stand stiffly for the name of the Lord means you're out there doing the work and out there teaching the, teaching the word like you're supposed to. That don't mean just sitting at home reading the Bible, keeping all the knowledge to yourself and not spreading the knowledge. Yeah, let's take a let's take a lay We ain't coming out next week. Actually we're gonna come out again around let's come out again around Halloween. Oh, they we're gonna won't... take a day off. We're gonna take some time off, fellas. Yeah. Enjoy our families, our wives. Oh, part time, no part time yeah. Israelites. <laughs> they're, they're, <laughs> it, it is ain't like the army reserve, you know what I mean? I was <laughs> saying, man, I'm watching clear, man, brothers. For like two years now going on three. And this certain motherfuckers I see they ain't got not one winner quit. Not one winner quit. I go I go check all stuff out at times. And I, I didn't see y'all here in the see snow cow that you can just see the seasons change through the video. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. You sure can. Yeah, well, what's yeah, some yeah, yeah. tricks with the camera to get make it make oh, yeah. on in time or something? Like a time lapse. Yeah. <laughs> I can really do that. Yep. For real. For real. With diligence. Diligence. Go ahead. This is fucking in the back of the city. Okay. I go ahead. Let's get those scriptures out from the battery guys. The battery part gonna die. First Corinthians uh, 15 and 52. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound. Oh. And the dead shall be raised incorruptible. Was going into what? This is talking about the kingdom again. That's probably how yeah, Everything we're talking about today is talking about going into the kingdom. See, that's the spirit. Because right now, World War III is about to pop off. Nukes is about to start flying. So that's just the spirit. Because we getting close to the end. And we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when the corruptible shall put have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass that saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Yeah, because that. yeah, that's talking about the kingdom. Because the Lord, he's going to raise up Israel. Go back to the I'll go ahead. First Corinthians 2 and 11. For well, what man knoweth the things of a man? Because hold on, too. We go back. We go back in the. We get in the kingdom. We ain't gonna have these same raggedy ass bodies, okay? But you read in the book of Genesis before the flood, people lived to be like a thousand years old. We gonna get back to that, man. We gonna get back to that old standard. We are gonna live for like a thousand years. Temples going. Temples and shit. We gonna be strong. The Lord's gonna give us power. We are gonna be changed. Rectile dysfunction, looking at these nasty built bushes and shit, you know. Just like, just like all the disciples, they can hit people. You know what I mean? 
real. Look at these women now, man. You need a field to get home, man. Oh. They got here. They can't turn the wheel over. Yeah, she's disgusting. She feels like a truck driver. Yeah, like this over here. No. It's, it's like a pool back. What you need to do is just discipline herself to eat correctly and do a little exercise for her. Right? Yeah, yeah. You know? She went too far gone. Uh, not yet. You know? Not yet. Not yet. But she's she on her way, though. Yeah, she's on her way. Yeah. She's on that wide path. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wide path. She's on there. Yeah. Oh, let's go ahead with them scripts for There you go. And the camera went on. So what, right. So what man knoweth the things of things of a man, say the spirit of man which is in him. Even so the things of the Most High knoweth no man, but the spirit of the Most High. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the Most High. That's why we hate the world. We don't get along with none of these people, man. We don't want to hear what they're talking about. We don't want to talk to them. We don't, we don't hang out with the world. We don't be going to clubs and hanging out with grimy motherfuckers and doing grimy shit. We ain't, we ain't going to no Christmas celebration or Halloween party. You know what I'm saying? We ain't on that. We ain't with none of that. Yeah, Thanksgiving. Yeah, we ain't. Dress your kids up Halloween before coming Yeah, dress your kid up like a devil. We don't do shit like that. Yeah, Halloween go back to the worshiping of Sam Hain, the devil. It's a demonic time of year coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next month, next month. Well, that's because it's the harvest time. Because in the harvest time in the ancient world, they would sacrifice children to oh, their gods. It's the spirit, too. It is. Our shit picking up now. Now it seems like the end call coming up. Yeah, because like back in the day, if you ain't sacrificed your, what well, they claimed, they thought it, they were so stupid, they thought if you didn't sacrifice children to Odin, that your crops weren't going to grow. You know what I mean? Right. So they actually sacrificed yeah. children. Yeah, you risen and it's in the Bible. The Israelites would sacrifice children to Baal. That's all through the Bible. Here I'll give a scripture to prove. So go ahead. The South Park had a special on that. They um they uh they uh they can sacrifice uh, uh Ricky Spears. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Spears. Okay, uh that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the most high. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, which is total bullshit, which is total foolishness, you know, man's wisdom, I mean, that's, the Lord loves everybody, you know, yeah, that's, that, yeah. that's, that's man's wisdom, the Lord's going to save everybody, the kingdom for everybody, that's man's wisdom, that's man knowledge, the, the, the woman can teach men, Right, women are above men. Oh, yeah. The Bible say the woman got to keep her mouth shut. The woman's not even allowed in church at all. Right. I mean, that's all through the Bible, over and over again. But you got woman preachers. So, like one, one of the founders of the Seventh Day Adventist Church, it was a goddamn woman with an Ellen G. White bitch. I just seen the boy Stephen Anderson was talking about. They got the one bitch with a city sound. Oh, yeah. That, that's that, crazy. That's been sitting at the table right next to He's a recorder. They probably better go see a porno after that. Have a, you know, they, they do shit like that. Hey, and they do, and they got an excuse for it. Hey, the Lord said you can do this. It makes you happy. You know what's that will? Yeah, that's not how long. Yeah, do it that will. Let's see how much time we got on there. It says an hour. Oh, an hour? Oh, no, no. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches. Uh, yeah, we learn everything we get from the Spirit. That's right. You ain't gonna learn. The Lord gotta reveal the truth to you in the Spirit. That's the only way you can get it. You ain't gonna get it from a book. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Yep. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. Oh, yeah, so people always come out to my, how come y'all always judging people? Y'all always judging people. Hey, read that again. But he that is spiritual judges all things. The Bible said, if you're spiritual, you judge everything, okay? Yet. That's the problem is there is no judgment. You got faggots walking around. Every other person walking down the streets a goddamn faggot. 
a transvestite, a lesbian, all these boot dyke bitches everywhere. It's your disgrace. You're all a disgrace. Okay? So we have the right to judge a faggot. You see a faggot walking, you're supposed to say something, actually. You're supposed to say something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Watchman yeah, It's like if you got a fire in your house. It's all right. It's just going to be cool. Turn east, north high to it's just downtown. Let it go. It'll be all right. You know, that fire is going to spread. It's going to burn your whole house down. And just like that fire, them faggots, they spreading diseases. The gonorrhea. Okay, they got they got the antibiotic resistant gonorrhea. That's just floating around. And you got faggots, okay. fucking women too. So they get on the news every day of this fag going around. Well, they 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 arrested him and he's been charged. But this motherfucker's going around. He had AIDS, knowing he had AIDS. And he was just going around. Yep, I, I just see that too. They say it affects like three out of four. That's why. That's why. That's why you don't allow people to be faggots. Okay, it's clear. That's a perfect example. And they said the reason why. Once you got HIV breaking out in the uh, in the porno industry, because you the pornos you got them they doing gay porn and straight porn at the same time. You know what I'm saying? And they fucking all kind of bitches. And they just they just spreading this. Look, let me get this sign. That's, that's official facts right there. Okay. The only time they want to read facts and believe in them is when the, the, the Esau come out with them. Yeah, yeah, we saw it. So, yeah. yeah it's a fact over half the U.S. is infected with venereal diseases. Okay. So that's a fact. So that's why you don't let faggots walk around free. And that number is uh, what they got in record. On uh, 2008, four years or five years ago. So you That's know, old data. Yeah, oh shit. Yeah, it's skyrocketing by this by now. I got a bad trip. Yo, I got something. Yeah, bro, I'm just gonna see that. All right, check this out. Jeremiah 32 <laughs> and 30. For the children of Israel and the children of Judah have only done evil before me from their youth. So as soon as these little bastards grow up, they raised by a single mother, so there's no man in the family. They're all raised by these adulterous bitches, and they're raising up little demons. They're just little little goblin creatures just running around right, everywhere. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? They got no respect for nobody. And a little five-year-old come up to you like, what's up, nigga? What's up, bitch? What's up, bitch? Little children come up to you, they'll throw rocks at you. I got something for you with that. Oh, go ahead. This second edge was five and um, eight. There shall be a confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be often sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and mistress women shall bring forth monsters. Mistress women shall bring forth monsters. So that's why all, that's why you got all these little demon children running around because they're all raised by these adulterous ass hoes. Okay, they're living in broken households. Okay, that's why they got more crime than ever. You know, it's not even safe to walk around. People walk walk around like herds of wild animals attacking people. You call somebody one of the young motherfuckers brother, man, they liable to shoot your ass. Brother? You got a gang slang nigga? Yeah, go to the yeah, go to go to the hood. Look how bad the neighborhoods are. They look like the jungle. Oh, they got lions and tigers running around here. They got they just, they got lions and tigers in Detroit. They got them in Ohio. You see the lion they caught up in uh, Buckeye Lake? Yeah, that's what I was just talking. I heard, yeah, I just heard about it, yeah. <laughs> There's a lion running loose up by Buckeye Lake. What the fuck? We've we been said, we knew that years ago. We've been on that. So it's gonna get way crazy. They said the bears are coming back too. So you're gonna have bears attacking people, or ripping bitches' faces off. That's what you get. They're eating little kids. All you little kids get devoured by some animals. That's oh, one thing I noticed too. They I just, animals yep. the There's a news in China. A little baby was at a Chinese zoo, and a monkey ripped off one of his nuts and ate it. Wow. Ripped, ripped off one of his the testicles and ate it. That's, that's, that's what the Lord do to a heathen, man. That's, that's part of that horror. And that, what's that? The man, terror. That's, a strong that's the terror the Lord is sending on you, man. Who that, that could have been a wicked ass Israelite scattered over here. The most high fucked him up. Ecclesiastes 36 and 1. Have mercy upon us, O Lord God, of all, of all, and behold us, and send our fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. 
Because the Lord is very, the Lord is dreadful, okay? He's terrible, okay? He's a terrible power. Keep going. Lift up the head against and, and, the strange and, nation. And that terrible don't mean bad. It means, that's where you get the word terror, like a terrorist. He will terrorize your ass. How the other nations are uh, Halashatra. Mm -hmm. Yep. The Deep Halashatra. terrible demon-like power. The, the, yeah, that's right. It. You, call, you can call the Lord by one of his titles, which is Halashatra. In the ancient Hebrew, that means demon-like power. Mm. Woo so the heathens don't know his name. They no. just, that's how they know him. They call yeah, the heathens call him Alice Shah just because they're afraid of him. That's right, bro. That's right. right. They even hate hearing his name. The name itself is that dreadful with these heathens. That's why the Muslims call him Allah. They don't call him Allah. Allah. That's right. Proper name. Like that one serpent, uh, Jewish motherfucker that was right here. Uh, yeah. He won't say a name for shit. He's a dad because he's afraid of him. Like, no, I can't, no, no. So we fear the Lord in a righteous way. Like we were throwing trippies on it. There's two types of fear. You got a righteous fear of the Lord, but then you got a, the way a heathen fears the Lord because he fears him because he knows he did something seriously bad. Oh, go ahead. Ecclesiastes 36 and 3. Lift up thy hand against the strange nations and let them see thy power. And the Lord gonna see, like what he's talking about, um, the Lord's gonna bring this destruction. When it's World War III, this nuclear war pops off. And that's when the Lord gonna show his power. Keep going. As thou was, as thou was sanctified in us before them, so be thou magnified among them before us. And let them know thee as we have known thee, that there is no God but only thou, O God. And so there's only one God. Okay. Show new signs. With fear, with fear. And make other strange wonders. Strange wonders. Y'all gonna see some strange wonders. What, see, that's right. Well, every night we go out, we be out in the backyard every night looking up in the sky. You see chariots left and right. You see all kind of strange wonders every night in the sky right now. Keep going. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm, that they may set forth thy wondrous works. Glorify his right arm. And the Lord of mystery and his works. And two, that's something Yahweh Shai is sitting on the right hand side of the Most High. That's right. So we're going to glorify his son. He going? Raise up indig in indignation. And so the Lord's going to be just fire. He's mad as hell. He's furious. He ain't, he ain't fucking playing. Furious. Hey, he's furious. And pour out bread. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. Yep. Make the time short. Remember the covenant and let them declare thy wonderful works. Yep. That's what we. That's why you gotta come on the streets. The only way you can declare those works is by teaching the word. That's how you do it. That's right. That's right. Let him that escapeth be consumed by the rage of the fire, mm. <laughs> and let them perish that oppress the people. Let them perish. So Esau going to perish. All these heathen nations, they going to perish. Okay. All, like uh. Like John Kerry and them, they gonna perish. Two thirds gonna perish. Oh, two thirds definitely gonna perish. Okay, well, I was perish. talking about the heathens. Yeah, don't forget about two thirds. Gonna cease from existence. Yeah, cause all yeah, all Israel, they ain't gonna make it right away. That's right. Some of y'all gotta die in this fire. You know? oh, this nice one right here. Smite and sunder the heads of the rulers of the heathen. Oh yeah, the rulers of the heathen. That's Obama. He's a heathen. Goddamn African. We got John Kerry. He looks like one of the trees off Florida the Rings. You sure do know. You know what I mean? <laughs> he looks just like one. I, I saw that. I see somebody say that. Yup, yup, yup. Yeah. They some heathen. Oh, yeah, that's how stupid black people are. They love Obama so much and hate Bush. But Obama's secretary of state is John Kerry, and that's Bush's cousin. And they was both part of Skull and Bones, the secret society at Yale. So there's no difference between Bush and Obama. Obama's just a continuation of the Bush administration. That's right. They all working for the same people. These niggas don't care what Obama does, man. He can't fuck up. He can, he can do no wrong. He can do no wrong. They they cool. They 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 saying the same shit about Syria as they did about Iraq. Oh, got that? They got weapons of mass destruction. That's right. We gotta go in there. And they're going into the they, they going in eventually. That's right. They they working. It's like a chess game. Don't worry, cause the match only lasts so long. Okay. <laughs> right, right. They can delay the shit. For yeah, so chess. Long. Cause you know some people have chess matches that go on for months. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it might take a minute, but it, it's coming. Like Habakkuk says, it is not going to tarry. But the Most High got y'all appointed for a 
this, this is specific time. Yeah, for a front appointed uh, yeah, appointed time. That's right. Uh, keep going. Ecclesiastics 36 and 10. Smite and son of the heads of the rulers of the heathen that say there is none other but we. Yo, uh, that's how America real proud too. But like you see Putin just bitch smacked America. He smacked y'all bitch like pat pat. Look, Putin's a gangster compared to Obama and John Kerry. They're a bunch of faggots. Keep going. Yeah, Putin actually, he's actually a good talk in the wilderness. Yeah, he'd be out, yeah. He's a, he's a survivor. Keep going. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together. All the tribes of Jacob. And it say the Lord was coming for all nations. It said the Lord was coming for Jacob. That's why you got to come out and teach because we're gathering up Jacob. Keep going. Start from Abraham, Isaac to Jacob. Keep going. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit thou them as from the beginning as from the beginning because right the, the scripture said that we was the first born from the beginning he going oh lord have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name that's israel he going and upon israel whom thou hast named thy firstborn right that, that we already read that that's in exodus what 4 and 22. he said israel is the lord's firstborn we the chosen he going Oh, be merciful unto Jerusalem, thy holy city, Jerusalem. the place of thy rest. Yeah, Jerusalem, that means the city of peace, okay? Now, America, this is not a city, this is not a land of peace. This is a land of death and destruction. America means bitter. Yeah, it does. America means bitter in Hebrew. This is a bitter place. It was founded upon slavery and genocide. Yep. This place is spiritually Egypt, which is bondage. Yep. It is. That's why you got a pyramid on the back of your dollar bill. That's right, bro. Yeah, that goes back to Egypt. Hey, get that. Get Exodus 26 and uh, 26 and 6. Exodus 26 and 6. Because America in the Bible is spiritually known as Babylon the Great, spiritually known as Rome. Because you see, that's why you see a lot of Latin writing on the back of the dollar, too. Everything's written in Latin. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Exodus 26 and 6. That's what the Bible said about Egypt. And thou shalt make. You sure it's 26? Yeah, 26 and 6. And thou shalt make 50 touches of gold. Huh? Are you sure? Is it Exodus? Oh, my fault. Deuteronomy. My fault. Deuteronomy. My fault. I'm slipping. I'm getting my scriptures mixed up. <laughs> yeah, that's a Deuteronomy. Yeah, go bring it up. And the Egyptians. And the Egyptians. Evil entreated us. The Egyptians evil entreated us. Keep going. And afflicted us. And afflicted us. And laid upon us hard bondage. Hard bondage. So, yeah, America has a pyramid on the back of a duck. Y'all ever seen a Washington Monument before? <laughs> you ever been to Washington, D.C.? And they got that big giant white statue. You seen that? It represents an Egyptian obelisk. That's what it represents Osiris' penis. Okay, because like George Washington, he was a Freemason. He worshiped the devil. He worshiped Osiris. He worshiped all them Egyptian guys. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they got an Egyptian opalus in Washington, D.C. They pay homage to Egypt. Because Freemasonry comes out of uh, ancient so called Egyptian mystery. But well, it's just a bunch of devil worship. What's this right here? Yeah, yeah, okay. What is this? Yeah. Oh, is that something inside the hand? Oh yeah, the mic they're gonna put a microchip in everybody. Cause like soon like you know how you got you know how they got credit cards right now? Yeah. Soon if you wanna buy something, instead of having a credit card, you're gonna have a microchip inside of your hand. And all your health information is going people already have it. They'll put your health information on there, your medical history. There's a club over in Europe somewhere where a lot of the entertainers and athletes go. They already have the chips, so but you can't get into the club unless you got the chip. Yep. I can see that. They do that with dog guys. Yep, yep. I mean, your pets? Yeah. Some people and they got, got pets. it right now heavy okay. in your pets. Play it up so to talk about oh, they got if a, they get lost. They got a law in over there in the United Kingdom. It's a law you have to have your pets chipped. There's a law in Ohio for exotic animals. Yep, if you got exotic animals, it's got to be chipped. Yep. Gotta be chipped. Yep. So soon they're going to move that to people. That's just the... When they, cra when they, when they crash the dollar, when they crash this yep. money, money system. They about to crash it too. Which is about to happen. Get closer every day. <laughs> yeah. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's about to pop. It's all scriptural though. Let me read this for you right here. Yeah, because they don't got paper checks no more. That's right. 
Everything electronically done. Yeah, they, it, yeah, that's why they don't want to pay you in cash when you get paid. It could be a check. That's right. Or, your, or a direct deposit. Yeah. Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many did the would not. Did the beast starts with America. America's the head of that beast. That beast system. You ever hear people... Uh, you go battling the beast. We up in the belly of the beast. This is the belly of the beast right here. Uh, I keep going. Um, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Yeah, because Americans know the a, a, a beast. It's really that woman riding the beast. They just, America just goes around terrorizing everyone. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, Free and bond. So everybody's got to get it from the politicians on down. Actually, I bet a lot of them politicians already got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Yeah, because actually they already got microchips. That they actually, I was, it was in the news well, just like a few months ago. And some scientists implanted microchips in, in the... In the uh, and some mice. They planted microchips in the brain, in the mi mice's brains, okay? And the mice were communicating to each other over the internet. But that's crazy. So they, they, about, they about to actually put... That's having that technology down. Oh, Google just came out. It was in the news like a month ago. That's crazy. And Google said they plan to have a mi uh, implantable microchips for the brain very soon. They're going to do that. They've been, they've heard, guys. What's this about over here? That's an Israel. It's two -third, that's the two-third sign. There's two-thirds of the Lord's people who got to die. Okay. Okay, because the Lord's only dealing with the Israelites. Okay. Okay, so That's wait. the people on this sign right here. Hold this on is a second. Israel right you said two-thirds. Uh, say that again, I'm sorry. Yeah, two-thirds of Israel got to die. Two-thirds okay. of our people, the people on this sign right here, you see the sign? Uh-huh. Two-thirds of these people got to die. They're going to be destroyed. Here you go, right here. Zechariah 13. That's right, yep. Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Yep, so that's the majority of people ain't making it, okay? The majority of Israel is going to be destroyed because they're evil. Here I got a scripture to prove it. It's at Jeremiah. Uh, 34, uh, excuse me, 32 and 30. For the children of Israel, hold on, did you finish the Mark of the Beast scripture? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, you got it. All right, for the children of Israel and the children of Judah only done evil before me Ooh. from their youth. That's right. That's, right. That's, That's our right. people. Now, people let's be that. realistic. Now, you know people that are that you look at and you know that just are not, they are just no fucking good. Excuse my language, but they are just no damn good. You, you say know, that's almost everybody you run into. That's right. Now, what's this, uh, what's this over here? That's the 12 tribes. That's where the, 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 where the yeah, Israelites were scattered among all those nations that's right there. That's the 12 tribes. That's the biblical names. And that's the, and what they're known as today. Yeah, that's the same thing we have on this sign right here. That's, that's, that's the slave name they was given. Okay. Right, right. right. Yeah, like the so-called black man's from the tribe of Judah. Okay, like Jesus. Did you know Jesus was black? These are the 12 tribes, and you're saying that these are the equivalent of them today. That's the yeah. slave Yeah. Yeah, because okay. like, uh, yeah, uh, when you read the Bible... So I noticed there's no, uh, well, pretty much there's no Europeans. Well, we got it on this side. Well, you can see right here. It tells you that the Israelites are scattered among all nations. Because you have a lot of Irish people who are Israelites. Okay. You got Italians, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, Israel scattered amongst all nations. Here, but let me read this. You know, like the Robert De Niro. Yeah. What is he Italian? I don't know what. He looks like yeah, a so-called white man, Italian, but he's an Israelite. Yeah. He just looks like a so-called white man. Oh, okay. he, or like uh, Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee is Chinese. So he's not really Chinese. He's an Israelite. Now, how do you make these correlations? How do you figure that uh, Judah? How do you make the correlation that Judah is the American Negro? Benjamin is characteristics the in the Bible. When you read the Bible. The, the prophecies and the, uh, the curses, they all match with these people.